A vessel is a very fundamental creator of difference. Once you have a vessel, you have an inside and an outside. It affects the world. It doesn't simply hold a thing. It embodies a situation where you can have something sacred and something profane. You can have something contaminated and something pure. And I think a lot of my work revolves around these borders or moments of encounter or edges. And uh, the vessel for me seemed like a, something that is so straightforward and yet its effect is, is really quite profound. So then why do we value the choosing of things where we don't value the encountering or the recognition of encounters? So for me, uh, th those moments are where the, the proof of concept really flourishes, is that, I mean, to be, just be surprised by the material world is in a way making contact, just in a very like direct, I think in itself meaningful thing. Oftentimes I set myself going on projects just so that I'm kind of in the flow. And I think that's because I'm looking for something, I'm attuned to things, um, and my attunement is specific. Yeah, like one of the proce these processes I'm working with now is um, it's alginate, which is like made from alginic acid, which is seaweed that's like mixed with some kind of, I don't know, binder or something. And, and as it dries, it, it, it distorts and shrinks. I make these kind of fast molds using using gourds and then I, I would pour alginate in first and while the alginate was still wet I'd pour this plaster in and, and because the differences in density it's basically like a soft mold so that the relationship it's almost totally decided by the materials because like they're in the enclosure but then they they have to negotiate the space together and it creates these really wild forms of like contact, I find material itself to be very inspiring. And I take a lot of cues from material. I think I'm doing my due diligence to kind of hold my responsibility, but, but um, I am not the primary actor, nor, nor should I be. Yeah, so I'm gonna take these and I'll just like set it up here. And, and then it just air dries and then who knows what it becomes.